Police in South Africa have clashed with students calling for free education in several cities. Wits University in Johannesburg had been due to reopen on Monday after demonstrations forced its closure last week. The vice chancellor announced that classes would proceed and students would be allocated areas in which they could protest. However, the situation quickly deteriorated with police firing rubber bullets and tear gas to disperse the crowds. Angela Kropola was there. It is always going to be a very tense situation here and most of the morning progressed smoothly as students moved around the campus looking to make their voices heard and then it exploded. How does it feel when you shoot at a black child, when a white man tells you, pull that trigger and you shoot at a black child, you feel good? Well done, shooting champion. Well done. There were religious leaders here who were monitoring the situation to ensure that calm was there and in place. But it wasn't to be. Chancellor, come and talk to your students. These students are not violent. All they want from you is that you stop being a buffer between the university and the government, that you join them in their struggle for free education. You know, it's very disheartening. It's, it's, it's a shame that the government has not had the guts to come and address the students. And so is the vice chancellor. Uh, the students have been calling for them to come and be with them, at least to hear them if they have nothing to say. The vice chancellor hasn't been seen at all today and students are upset. Adam Habib needs to come down and shoot us himself. He needs to stop hiring black men to shoot at us. He must pull the trigger himself. If he wants black children to die, then he must, if he wants Marikana, he must pull the trigger. He must stop being a coward. He must come downstairs. Tensions have boiled over already once today and it's not gonna take much for it to boil over again. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV on the University of Advanced Run Stairs in Johannesburg, South Africa.